Hey, so we're back at it for another day here. And uh, today it's snowing. I don't know how well you guys can see that or not, but it's snowing. Right now we're moving trucks around for Grandpa and Matt. Um, they're hauling grain over to Nuego, so we're moving their trucks back over here. So when they get back from Nuego, they can figure out where they're gonna park because I have no idea where they're gonna do that. But Jeremy just pulled in with Matt's truck, so now we're gonna head back to the farm. I'm gonna start chisel plowing before the rain starts because that's gonna start here shortly, supposedly, I guess. I don't know exactly if it's going to or not, but it says it's supposed to. And uh, 30 degrees tells me it's not gonna rain, but the snow tells me it's definitely gonna snow. Till 2020, fully commenced. I think we've gotten, I don't know, half inch of snow. We're just building up on everything. It's going good. The dirt's not even. I mean, you can see it doesn't stick to my hands. Just a nice little dusting. It's gonna switch to rain here in a little bit. So let's see how many acres we can get knocked out before then. Or uh, until I need to go and fill up. I didn't do that when I left the farm. It's just getting pretty low. Like, I don't know. I've never been able to figure that out, but. with it. 
it, and I don't know what maturity corn it was. You know, record keeping is a hard thing. Um, and I didn't do the planting, so that's part of it. All right, hitting the road. This field's done. Look at that, already turkeys out here. Yep. So that was, uh, I was gonna say kind of a disappointing 10 acres. Trying the hole. Um, it just uh, didn't quite yield as well as I, we hoped because of, uh, well, lack of rain, like I always say. And, and there's a, they shot a couple deer out here. So, yeah, lack of rain. Um, not being fertilized and you know just crop stuff I don't know I don't know what kind of I haven't looked at the soil samples in this so I don't know what kind of I don't know if we've taken soil samples but there's some that stuff aloe plant whatever that stuff is so some of that out here too but yep we got about well not as much as I'd like off this field. But yeah, just a few things that we need to tidy up for the following years, you know. We gotta, we gotta do a better job. It's as simple as that. All right, so uh, yeah, we're unloading right now. We're just getting this field opened up. Got Mark over here, borrow the neighbor's grain cart. No, we can't unload on the go because he doesn't know what he's doing. So, what can you do about that? Um, yeah, it's his first time that really being in a green cart, so this isn't the field to learn on either. It's just, a, I'm going to tell you this, this field was a nightmare to combine for the fact of when Grandpa planted it, it was wet, and he literally just has rows going in every different direction wherever it goes, so I don't know how this is going. It's, it's going to be, a, it's a nightmare, simple as that. Night running. Yep, we're just uh, getting this back section done in here and then we'll move up to the longer rows over there. Now that you can see anything, I don't know if that makes it better, but now I turn them back on so you can see me. This is pretty muddy out here, but it's going. Of course, not really running that good. I think there's lots of action out here. This is been I can spend no till two years in a row, so it's probably the the issue we're having on this really wet clay ground. So I just don't think it's a good combination, but it's just how last fall went and the spring went. Um, yeah, I just there wasn't any other option for it because it just kept raining and doing nonsense and didn't work out to do that by the time it did get nice it was already frozen last fall so it is what it is but I don't think we're gonna get a chisel plot this fall either uh, we just got that snow rain and we probably got a total of I don't know it's probably a slow drizzle of a half inch or more so yeah it's kind of a frustrating situation but it is what it is so you want know to know what's even more frustrating is these lights my big lights here will just randomly shut off. As you can see, they'll just flick back on, just like that. And it's driving me nuts. I don't know what it is. I think it's a switch, but I could be wrong. Um, because it just, it just drives me nuts. It, those lights are so bright, so nice, and then they shut off, it's like going back to candle power. Guess you can, you can call this my row of shame here. When I split this field into zigzags that are out here, I uh, miscounted one row. So, yep, get a deal with this. Just this one little single row here. Okay, otherwise, I'm doing a row of shame for nothing. One of the two, but. Trying to get it all squared up down here. This field's got a bunch of little fingers that go off this way and that way. We're 
22 acres, it's got a lot of corners in it, so, yeah. Um, we're just dealing with this right now. But, it is what it is, I won't complain too much, you know. It's better than, uh, have, oh, an extra row is better than not an extra row, right? This winter, or in the spring, I need to bring the chopper down here on the skid steer and clean up the end of this field. So, yeah, that's something we need to do for the edges of this field. It just kind of protects the snout some, um, helps the edge growth a little bit by pushing the, pushing the undergrowth back and everything. It's just is a, it's a good way to take care of the field. So. I'm really happy with it with the stuff we did down and now behind the farm, the home farm, so I'll definitely be doing it to more fields. I, I really enjoyed it this fall combining. Um, it'll also save me some sprayer nozzles, which is a plus because I lost a couple of those this year up here. Oh, actually, if I remember right, there's one right over through there, so I don't know what happened to that tree. Man, that looked like I had a rough day. Or like straight, straight over in this other field, right on the other side of these trees, there's a sprayer nozzle. Yep, lost that one. That one, that one just flung off. But it is what it is. All right, field is done. Around a. Uh, 